I have been doing a guest post on Chris Banner's blog, cadtiptricks.wordpress.com, so there was little time left for a full blog um, this week, but there was enough for a short one. Check back on Chris's blog to, to see my post on how to edit roots and especially how to dynamically edit roots. To use iLogic, forms and groups, I use forms a lot and in particular I have this tank template where you get to choose size, type, connections and i properties. And because I designed the tank to allow 20 connections, maximum that I thought I could use, um, it's getting hard to navigate the form and scroll all the time, so I wondered how to make the groups collapse by default. If you try to collapse them when editing the form or when running the form, they don't stay collapsed. Next time you open it, they're still expanded. So the trick here is to uh, enable allow control resizing on the form edit. So when you edit the form on the first item at the top, form name, in the lower pane, properties, you have the allow control resizing that you must have it as true. While you are here, I would recommend that you change model to false so you can do other things like measure while the form is displayed. Otherwise, you can only work on the form and you need to close it to run other inventor commands. So now that the allow control resizing is true, you can close the form editor and run the form. Then you can right click anywhere on it and choose resize controls. Collapse all the groups, then right click again and choose exit control resize. Now you can save the file and next time you open it, the form will be nicely compacted as default. Once again, check Chris's blog for a nice post. Um, and until next time, bye bye.